Hi everyone, and welcome to Conversations for Peace. I'm Marcy Newman, your Heart Shift Coach, and today I want to continue our conversation about choice. Yesterday in my discussion with Mel Robertson, we talked about how everything is a choice. Your thoughts, your beliefs, the actions that you take, and every single choice that you make determines the experience that you have. In addition, there are aspects of us that are part of our true nature, that are constantly seeking opportunities to come forward in order to bring a certain harmony to our lives. And peace is one of those aspects of our true nature. What I think is so interesting about what we are seeing in our world all around us, and of course I'm referring to the unrest and violence and people acting out their fears, is that what is missing from what would seem to be a world at war with itself are peace talks. Where are the peace talks? Where are the tables set up for two opposing sides to come together, to work towards understanding each other, compromise, to find a neutral ground where peace can be found? These peace talks are blatantly absent and what does that mean? It means that there are more of us that need to come forward to have our own conversations about peace. Each and every one of us has the ability to generate an energy that will extend itself from us, from our belief system our thoughts, our actions that create an energy field that will send out energy seeking out energy just like itself. And we've talked about this before. So this call for peace is really a call for each and every one of us to do whatever is necessary to create more of this energy. And from where I sit, there is nothing more powerful than having conversations about peace. But conversations need to be exchanges, don't they? Because I can be here every single day and be talking about peace. And there may be some aspects of my conversation that you take in but when we speak together, when we are engaged in conversation, sharing ideas, sharing thoughts, sharing remedies, really trying to do some trouble shooting. And I hate to use that word at this moment, but it's really what it is. We need to come together and discuss what is necessary for all of us to find a more peaceful existence. There is no question that it must begin within each and every one of us. And so today, I'm asking you to pay attention to your conversations. Are your conversations feeding the energy of violence, attack, dis, dis, respect, unrest, what are your conversations feeding? This is the 10th day of these conversations for peace. Tomorrow is September 11th. We know that there is going to be a tremendous amount of pain and grief that will be expressed. There may also be anger, rage, there may be more acting out. This is the time for you to really be observant 
about the energies that you're feeding. This is a time for us to feed energies of connection rather than separation. And with all of the emotion that is possibly going to come forward tomorrow, in memory of the 9-11 attacks, is that we have a responsibility to that energy that will come forward. It is asking to be healed. It is asking to be neutralized. It is asking to be transmuted, transformed into the energy that has the capacity to create life the way we want to live it. And so we need to pay attention to what that life is. Remember that energy is always seeking out other energy just like itself. This is a law. This is science. We know that this is how it works. And so as all of this energy is being released tomorrow, ask yourself, what can I do to cultivate more peace, to bring more peace home to my own heart and then be able to share and extend with others? This is the gift that we've been given, but we are the ones who have to offer the gift. We have to open it. We have to unwrap it. And then we have to share it. This is our responsibility as every human being on this earth. Because we can either dwell in that energy of those attacks and dwell in the energy of all the attacks around us, all of the attacks that we are creating within us, we can dwell in that energy or we can choose to dwell in the energy of the heart where none of that can exist because there is no separation. Attack cannot happen where there is no separation. It simply can't. And so our job is to connect with our hearts where separation not only doesn't exist, but only connection exists. And so I'm asking you to join me starting right now. Pay attention to your thoughts. Pay attention to your beliefs. Pay attention to any judgment that comes forward that has you blaming, shaming, guilting, and projecting all of that judgment and guilt on others when we know that none of that energy exists within the true nature of our being. And the only way to get there is to feed the energy of peace, love, connection, and our unity. So I'd like to invite each of you to step into your wholeness, <coughs> excuse me, step into your greatness, step into your power, and be your truth, your true and powerful self. For you are co-creator of everything that we experience as humanity. We're all in this together. And so I'm going to do what I have pledged to do every single day and to share with you my peace pledge. I'd like to invite you to go to heartshiftcoach.com where you can get for free Seven Ways to Cultivate Peace. Please get it now if you haven't gotten it yet. And the Peace Pledge. And let's really unify and heal this energy that is running rampant 
and separating us all from our true selves and from each other. So here's my pledge to you. I pledge to extend peace into my entire circle of influence through cultivating my own peaceful heart with my clear intentions, taking personal responsibility for my thoughts, my beliefs, my actions, and willingly taking compassionate action wherever it is needed. And I take this peace pledge and I am passing it right now from my peaceful heart to yours. Peace in, peace out. Peace is complete when we share it with others. Until tomorrow, let's unify. Take the peace pledge and remember, peace is always present. Thank you.